when I feel anxious and like overwhelmed, prepping and just like preparing is what makes me feel a little bit more calm. They said definitely anywhere between like the seven to eight pound range. My doctor does not want me to go past 39 weeks. You guys, I am 36 weeks pregnant. We are so dang close to meeting this baby and I'm actually kind of freaking out. I'm gonna do a little bump date for you guys really quick, but I'm just sitting here on my like little bouncing ball. This is where I've been sitting to get ready in this mirror right here, just to like kind of, I don't know, bounce a little bit, get my body in the right position. I'm not trying to induce labor by any means until I am at least 37, 38 weeks, but yeah, I, I'm kind of starting to freak out, but let me show you my belly really quick. This is my 36 week bump. It is massive, you guys, like massive. I feel like she is definitely getting lower. I can feel like her head down here. I don't know, it's starting to kind of freak me out and I feel like I'm overthinking like every little thing. I'm gonna laugh at myself when I'm 40 weeks and still haven't had her yet but we are getting so close. I feel like my mind is starting to just like revisit things that I've kind of like forgotten about or like blocked out that were a bit, traumatic is kind of a dramatic word, but like not fun to deal with when it comes to labor and delivery and postpartum. And I'm just like getting kind of nervous that I have to do all of those things in order for this baby to be here. And yeah, I'm just feeling very anxious. The last like week or so I've just been feeling anxious. Of course, I'm so freaking excited to meet her. I cannot wait to just like see her join our family. And of course, I'm excited to not be pregnant anymore. But yeah, my experience with postpartum was really rough with my first pregnancy. Breastfeeding was so hard the first two weeks. I literally just bawled my eyes out every time I nursed and TMI, but I got really bad hemorrhoids and I'm afraid that that's gonna happen again. So yeah, I'm not really excited about that kind of stuff. But I'm trying to stay positive and just know like my body can handle it. I can do it and it's gonna bring me this like beautiful baby girl. But yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> With all that being said, I feel like when I feel anxious and like overwhelmed, prepping and just like preparing is what makes me feel a little bit more calm. I feel like I can control the things that I can control. And so that is what today's video is going to be. I am going to start nesting. I feel like I've been nesting for a long time, but I need to do like the last finishing things in order to make it so I feel completely like good that baby girl is here. I have not done this yet because I was finishing her nursery and I wanted to do a nursery tour before I did it because all this stuff is kind of like in her room. So if you guys missed the tour, I will link that down below, but I need to wash all of her clothes and organize like her closet and her dresser. There's like really no rhyme or reason in there and there's like a lot of chaos going on in there. So I need to fix that. We also need to wash the car seat because we are using the one that we used for Rocky and I want to get that installed into the car and I'm thinking of flipping where Rocky is and where she'll be. So we need to do that. We need to figure out the double stroller. We tried to do that a little bit ago and it wasn't fitting so I need to look into that. And then I need to like sterilize her binkies and bottles and I don't know, there's there's so many other things that you'll see in this video that I feel like I need to do. So my goal is to get that all done today. If not, this vlog will carry into tomorrow until I just finish all of this. And I also have my 36 week appointment today. I'm going to have an ultrasound. She's gonna check me. Um, she's also gonna check my fluid levels and kind of just see like what my route is for the next four weeks. Um, because we are on weekly appointments, but with gestational diabetes, they sometimes want you to come in more. So we're going to just like figure that out because I do not want to do that. Once a week is already enough, <laughs> but yeah, there's just a lot going on today. There's a lot when it comes to baby girl and I'm excited to share the day with you guys. So the first thing that I need to do is go through her dresser. Um, there's really not much organization, but it is a little organized right now. I feel like I need to figure out like what I want to do, but this is all newborn diapers and a pack of wipes. We have all of her bows kind of right here. And then I have a bunch of socks and some binkies and this like cute little bracelet. Her name sign is right here. And then these are just like some burp cloths and a couple other, I guess that's just one pair of socks. So that's that, but this is the drawer that I need to go through because I need to wash everything in here. And then I need to fold it in a way that makes more sense. I hate how this is like, just kind of stacked here. So I'm definitely going to fix 
This, these little inserts, if you guys are curious, are from Ikea and they make it super helpful. So this is like zero to three months loosely. And then the rest of these drawers, I don't really even know if I've put them in the right categories. Um, and then this one is like carriers and crib sheets. And then this one is a bunch of swaddle blankets. I've kind of just been like shoving things in those drawers, trying to kind of have like some organization. Like I wanted zero to three months, three to six, six to nine, nine to 12. But um, yeah, I don't know if that's how I'm gonna end up doing it. I feel like I never actually use the majority of the drawers in the dresser because it just is like a lot. A lot of this stuff is actually just like in her closet here, hung up because I feel like I can see what I have better this way. But as you can see, like there's not a lot of organization here either. There's a lot of things in here like that is old decor that I need to get out um, of her closet. Her car seat base is in here. Um, there's like a lot of just like random stuff over here too. And then like these are like the old blinds that were in this room. And then this, <laughs> this needs to be tackled for sure. And then, oh my gosh, this looks so bad. <laughs> but there's a little bit of rhyme or reason to this. This is like all the diapers and wipes that we got from my shower. And then like her car seat, the snuggle me's. This is like a bouncer. And then I literally have like my old yearbooks in here too. But yeah, the closet and the dressers just need some TLC. It's like organized chaos. My sister-in-law told me that one time and I'm like, yeah, that's actually kind of like my life. Like there's a little bit of rhyme or reason, but a lot of it is just chaos. Um, I also got this from the thrift store the other day just to use for organization somewhere. I may need to make a target run to get like more bins and stuff, but I'm trying to just like use whatever I have. I'm trying not to spend a whole lot more, but we're going to first start with washing her clothes because that is the most tedious thing. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by This is all Doesn't zero to three easy. month stuff and newborn stuff that was either thrifted or bought new. And so I just removed all the tags and I'm gonna wash all of this. The stuff in the closet, a lot of it is from Rocky and I washed that before I put it in there. So I don't need to wash like all of that. But we are definitely gonna get this going. Yeah, the peace of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow. While Rocky is eating like breakfast and those clothes are washing, I am going to sterilize her binkies and bottles. These are the new ones we got this time. These are the MAM bottles. I heard that the nipple is like more similar to like a nipple <laughs> since i am going to be breastfeeding her i want to try and find one that's very similar um and then these are the ones we used for rocky so i'm just going to re-sterilize those and then these are all new binkies he's watching miss rachel and i paused the show so i could film and he's telling me to turn it on so really quick i just wanted to say that i am just going to get this water to boiling and then put those in there for five minutes Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong, I want it all, I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone, wait, hold on, put me together, so we have the upper baby vista, and we bought the attachments to make it a double stroller, Rocky let go of my camera please. Come here, you want to say hi? Hi. You say hi? Hi. So we have the toddler like rumble seat. Treasure. Yeah, you tell me you like treasure. You like that show, huh? We have the bassinet and then we have the carrier. So right now I'm going to try the toddler seat and the carrier. Um, like I said, we've tried to do this once before and I couldn't get it to fit. But I was also watching two kids and trying to go to the park really fast. So I'm hoping my patience this time is higher <laughs> and we can figure it out. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay, mama's gonna move on. Hi. Don't touch, don't touch. Wow. 
Wow, you're so strong. I had to call in reinforcements because I could not figure it out, but apparently you just kind of like shove it in there <laughs> and there's like this little loop it has to fit in right there then it just like clips in here. Moment of truth. Yeah, let's try the car seat up top facing in. I got, where are you going? Where are you going? And then it's facing out. Just run. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. For some reason, we can't get the toddler seat to fit on the bottom. All the other ones fit. This one fits on top. The car seat fits. But that toddler seat doesn't go on the bottom, which I just feel like doesn't make sense because the baby needs to be like closer to you, in my opinion. So if you guys have this car seat and you've turned it into a double, please let me know. I also have a friend who has it, so I'm probably gonna ask her. But another thing on the to-do list is to wash these inserts because what the heck, like, that's so gross. <laughs> that's gotta be like throw up from Rocky or something. So I'm gonna wash that. I actually took this to the car wash the other day and vacuumed it, but it needs to be like scrubbed down from like all these like little spots and stuff. And then we also need to take apart the car seat and get that washed too. I get super frustrated with things like this, especially since the stroller is so expensive. I feel like it should be like an easy thing to figure out, like things should just work. So I'm trying not to let that like annoy me too much, but I'm gonna take apart the bassinet and the car seat a little bit later. Um, I feel like I just need to like hang out with Rocky. I'm kind of trying to do too much and I just need to hang out with him. So I will check in with you guys once I head to my 36 week appointment. Good. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along. All right, I am back from my appointment and I have a few just like kind of big updates, I guess. So today I'm 36 weeks and Baby girl is measuring very big. She's measuring like seven pounds, eight ounces. They said definitely anywhere between like the seven to eight pound range. So like anywhere in the sevens, if that makes sense. And technically, yeah, I still have four more weeks. So my doctor does not want me to go past 39 weeks. Um, she wants to induce me if we get to that point, which you guys know I have not wanted to be induced like this entire time. But honestly, having a 10 pound baby terrifies me more than being induced. She's being very flexible. She said that she can strip my membranes at like 38 and five or 38 and six. And then at 39 weeks, I can get some medicine um, to induce my labor, go home and like labor at home. And then if it progresses me, I can come back to the hospital. And if not, then I would have to be like put on Pitocin. But yeah, that means that is March 30th. Yeah, March 30th, that all of that would be going down, which is crazy, which means I only have three more weeks if I make it to that point. She did check me and I was at a one and a half, which is good because that's what I was at when I went into labor with Rocky or when I was induced. So I'm hoping within the next like two to three weeks, I can like progress a little bit because that was like my biggest concern of being induced was not being progressed because I feel like if I'm at least like a two or a three, then my body's like already kind of doing what it needs to do. Whereas with Rocky, it was just at a one and it was very forced. The thing though she did say is that my cervix is still long, which I don't really fully understand what that means, but I feel like it means I'm not like fully a one and a half or I don't really know. But yeah, um, the good thing though is my fluid levels are still the same, which is good. So that's like not a risk factor of baby's health but they do still want me to do ultrasounds every week until I have her. The protocol for gestational diabetes is to do two ultrasounds a week from 36 weeks on, which is insane. And so yeah, I only have to do the one because mine is controlled, but she just wants to make sure that my fluid levels stay the same because that is a health risk for the baby. Yeah, that is a little update on her. I don't really know how to feel. <laughs> I'm just like, crap, that's crazy. We're even closer than I thought to meeting her. Um, which is exciting, but I just want her to be healthy and I want myself to not go through like 
too much extra trauma in the process. So that is kind of the plan, but I am gonna eat lunch. It's like two o'clock and I haven't had lunch. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And then we're gonna get back to nesting because now I feel even more of an urge to get all this stuff done. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. Back in the nursery because I want to tackle these dressers for sure. Some of the clothes is still drying. It didn't like fully dry, but it turned off, so that's great. But I figured we could start with just getting like a good handle on the organization in the dresser with things that aren't closed. And I feel like I kind of like the way I've done this so far. I don't know for sure. I feel like I might actually just do that and like the binkies and then put socks with the clothes. I'm not really sure yet, but I did run and pick up a few things. I got her vitamin D because I do plan on breastfeeding and then I also got this butt cream. We recently just started using this with Rocky and it has healed his diaper rashes so dang well. So yeah, I'm gonna just kinda get this all situated here. So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever Alright, so this is what I came up with. I have all of her sleepers, like zip-up sleepers, on this side. These are all newborn, these are all zero to three months. And then over here, I have like onesies and shorts. And then her like little swimsuits. We are going on a beach vacation the first like few months of her life, so that's why we have a few of those. But that is what I think I'm gonna keep her clothes looking like. I ended up moving the swaddles here so that way I don't have to bend down as much because we do use these as burp cloths like pretty frequently. At least we did with Rocky. And then this is just a bunch of miscellaneous clothes that are like three to six months. And then like I said, the carriers are down here, but then we have like some um, six to nine or nine to 12 months here. I'm honestly just not going to organize any clothes past three months right now. I feel like with Rocky, I had to have like her entire first year mapped out and I needed to make sure all the clothes were washed, like all the clothes were like bought and we had them. And it's just like not really realistic. And I feel like at that point you would need to rewash them anyways. But it's just too much that you need to do. Like for me, I ended up changing the way I organize things anyways. So I'm not gonna organize anything past three months and we'll just kind of adjust there. Um, but the next thing I'm gonna move on to is the closet. Like I said, I'm just gonna go to three months. So All of these clothes back here are anything between three to six months to like 18 months. And so I'm just gonna kind of push those there. It's towards the center of the closet. So you're not really going to be needing to get to the access, but this is all like the zero to three month stuff that I want to go through and organize a little bit. I also just want to come in here and take out like any decor that doesn't make sense. Um, things like this that just need to be moved into a different place. I wanna organize these books, like there's some nursing stuff in here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through this and try and make this look a little bit better. So here's a proper before. And here is the after. So basically, I just, like I said, organized these clothes. I put all of the ones that are too big this way. Um, I did organize them from like short or sleeveless to short sleeves to long sleeves. And then I kind of color coded them. But the thing that I feel like made the biggest transformation is I moved all of the diapers that were on this side over here and then the wipes, and then like these are her play gyms and her little bouncer, and then I organized this a bit. I just have her shoes, some books, nothing there, and then this is just a bowl of like pinky clips and stuff. And then in this basket, I put her swaddles in there, and then this one you can see is just like a bunch of stuffed animals, and then this is a crib bumper if we need it in the future, and then these are like shelves that I will eventually put into her room. And because this side of the closet is like kind of where the chair is, 
I decided to move like all of the decor pieces that don't go in her room but have just been throughout her house on this side because I feel like we're not really even gonna open this side. It's been quite some time since I updated you guys. I got really hot after doing all that organization and then I was with Rocky until Nathaniel got off of work but the parts that I washed for the stroller and the car seat are all cleaned and we're putting them back and so we are going to install the base for baby girl's car seat into our car. I also just wanted to show this is all cleaned and then I just wiped this down with a wet, um, like a hot cloth and it did a really good job but we still can't figure out how to get that seat on this bottom part. This is the car seat, did you get it? I think so. Cool, yeah, thank you. It looks so much better, I feel like it looks so much cleaner too but yes, let's go install this. Okay, so we're gonna switch the car seats. Rocky, you have to stay over here, baby. Do you wanna get inside the car? Here, let's get inside the car. Okay, I'm hoping this will keep Rocky entertained, but basically what I was gonna say is we're gonna put Rocky on this side because I feel like it'll be easier for me to like get to baby girl when she's on my side because Rocky is a little bit more self-sufficient. So we're gonna swap them and then we're just gonna keep the base. I know it's not good to keep like the actual car seat just in case you get into a car accident, but I want it all ready to go for when she's here. Okay, I know the lighting is like super bad, but I literally vacuumed this car two days ago and there's already crumbs all over. That is life with a toddler. <laughs> Did you say yo? Yeah. Okay, Rocky loves playing in the front seat while the car's on, so that's gonna entertain him. Look at how cute Rocky looks just sitting there. He looks so little. Oh, you need to buckle him. Get it, mama. <laughs> All right, her car seat is installed. It's so funny how little this looks because Rocky's is just so massive and like you can't get him in unless it's like right here. So this is gonna be so easy to put her in. Okay, Nathaniel is still outside installing Rocky's car seat. Rocky was getting a little fussy and I'm getting really hungry. It's like almost six o'clock and we normally eat at five o'clock. But you guys get the point. We were just putting his car seat on the other side. And then I'm also going to put her mirror up as well just to have that all ready to go. It's over on your toy cabinet. I know, Dada's finishing up the car seat. You gotta be patient for Dada. I'm just making ground turkey burger salads. Are we surprised? No, we're not very creative around here. Especially at nine months pregnant. But I just wanted to say I am planning on filming another video like this where it's more so for like postpartum and um, just like when we get home and I wanna do freezer meals. I want to share a bunch of like freezer meals that I want to make before um, that way dinner is just easy when baby's here. Hey, do we touch? No. Okay, I'm gonna put you down then. Okay, yeah. I also want to share. <laughs> Are those nummy nummy? Do you want some? <laughs> I hope you're right, yeah. I don't know, I don't know if I'll, I'll try it, but I mean, yeah. What do you think? Uh, you guys, that last clip was so chaotic, I'm sorry. It is like 7, 10 now. We didn't end up eating until like 6, 25 or so, which we normally eat between like 5 and 5, 15. So that was just like super late, and then we literally bathed Rocky, put him down, boom, yeah. But what I was saying was, is I want to do another prep with me video where it's more so like for postpartum and I want to do freezer meals. That way I can just have easy dinners. And so I'm gonna share that for sure. But other things I wanted to include are just like my postpartum setup for like bathrooms and then like kind of switching over our room to be um, like a little nursery for the first little bit. We're gonna put the bassinet in here, the changing pad diapers, wipes, like extra birth cloths, like all that kind of stuff. And then I also want to prep like little sensory bags where I can just like easily throw a sensory activity together for Rocky. I actually saw this at a market that I went to last week. Um, people were like selling that and I thought that was such a good idea. And so I just wanted to make my own because I feel like for the times that I'm nursing or like we're just kind of stuck at the house a little bit, I want to like have fun things for Rocky to do. 
that are inexpensive and just like kind of low thought because I already put it all together. So for that, I'm probably gonna go to like the dollar store and try and find a bunch of things to just like make it fun and interesting. Okay, I literally can't even <laughs> freaking sit up right now. I don't know if any of you guys have ever gotten like more intense contractions from just literally a cervical exam. I got the group B stress test today too, but like that's like not very, like that's very superficial. But I've actually been having like some painful contractions for the last like 30 minutes or so. Laying down helps and I'm not like concerned by any means. I just feel like my body contracts all the time. They're just like a little bit more intense right now. But I also wanted to say that I want to also film a video of like how I'm prepping my body for labor. Um, because of that update of just like potentially having to be induced, I really want to do as much as I can to just like help progress my labor. And so I'll be filming that as well. Sorry, this is like such a lazy angle but i just can't uh but if there's any other videos you guys want me to film before baby girl gets here i feel like i just have a few more videos until she's here which is insane so yeah that is today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope you got some inspiration from it to organize your nursery if you have one or you just enjoyed watching but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys